Today on the channel, it's all about the Masters of the Universe Origins as we unbox Stinkor and the Eternian Goddess. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Masters Universe Origins unboxing and review. And today we've got Stinkor and the Eternian Goddess. But remember, for all your Masters Universe Origins, Revelations, and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And that's exactly what I did here, is I had to pick these up from Big Bad Toy Store. As my local stores, and maybe they're like yours out there, they are jam-packed with Revelations and Origins figures, and it is really stopping some of the newer sets coming my way. Uh, so luckily we have a Big Bad Toy Store out there to get these from, and I got my Unpunched and Punch set, as you guys know, from Big Bad Toy Store. So interesting times in the Master Universe game out there. But we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. We'll do some comparisons as well along the way. So let's do it. Let's start it off. And we're going to start with the Eternian Goddess. Now this is basically a repaint of Tila we know out there. The Eternian Goddess is a bit of a complicated character. As in some forms of He-Man, it was Tila. It was somebody separate. Uh, so it's a very kind of confusing story which way of the He-Man universe you're looking at, I guess. And I understand why they released this, because it is a simple repaint out there, so it makes sense. Getting the most out of your molds, you guys know about that. But it is a bit of a deep cut even for He-Man, I think, at this point in the line. That's where I sit, at least. I don't know about you. So it is an interesting figure out there. Now, I do have the Masters Universe Classics version of this one, but I do not touch it. I do not move it because I am so scared it is going to break. If you guys know about the Masters Universe Classics, uh, the Attorney and Goddess figure, the transparent plastic on it is very weak. It is very prone to breaking. So I put it away and I am never touching it again until I move. That's my rule. So I'm not going to compare that one because I'm too scared I'm going to break the plastic on that figure. And it would just be World War III if that happened. I would just fall in a pile crying. My tears, my wife would say, you're pathetic. And she would be right, but I would be crying because I'd be so sad if I broke that toy. So we'll compare it to the Tila Origins figure. And uh, that's what we're going to do with this one. So let's look at the packaging first on it. We know that Masters Universe packaging, every time I see it, it brings a smile to my face. It truly does. Reminds me of a kid going to the toy stores, seeing the wall of the Masters figures, getting to pick one out really brings it full circle. And like I've said in other reviews, I've seen people shopping out there on my figure hunts that have had the same reaction. They do not collect these. They don't collect toys anymore. It just catches them and they just have that moment of, oh my gosh, this reminds me of when I was a kid out there, which I think is really cool. Uh, you got the new for 21 up there at the top. Of course, we got the comic book with this one. Uh, we got retro play with modern posing, of course. And it is basically a Tila repaint uh, with green skin. And we're gonna see those compared very shortly. Master Universe logo, very iconic there. On the back, there it is. You've got that cool glamour shot up there, that cool artwork. He-Man known for its cool artwork, and this one is cool as well. Kind of got Barbarian He-Man up there a little bit, it looks like, almost. And then you got Skeletor, the Attorney and Goddess. you got the cross cell. you got the action features. you got the warnings. you got the UPCs. you got the Jedi Master Points. Nah, just kidding. No Jedi Master Points with this one, unfortunately. Uh, but very cool packaging. I love the cross sell. I love everything about it. Just hits me in the old nostalgia feels, as they say out there. On the back, it says, Planet Eternia's warrior deity protects the ancient artifacts worthy to be wielded by only He-Man. Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Master Universe action figures. She's got a magical staff. Oh, I love a good magical staff. And she can also twist into very powerful positions. Very powerful positions to be twisted into. Love that as well. Always got to be a little, a little careful opening these up. You don't want to rip that comic book. That's the last thing you want to do out there. And we'll get her out. There's the packaging. There it goes. See you later. Got little instructions, which are a waste of time. See you later. Oh, I didn't go very far. That was disappointing. Let's try that again. See you later. There it goes. All right. Got the comic book in there. We always love these comic books. You guys know that. It's just a cool feature. 
uh, brings you back to the past, but it is a cool little add-in in there. Uh, a little short story there. You can hear all about Web Store, the Eternian Goddess, Stinkor, and all the friends. All the friends. So there it is. Got that little comic book going on. Then you get the plastic prison, the old Eternian Goddess. I like that green blue. It's almost like a toothpaste green. Is it like spearmint? I don't even know what you'd call it, but it reminds me of that toothpaste color. Maybe it's scope. Is it scope? I've had a lot of toothpaste in my life, uh, but I remember there was one we had once upon a time, and it had that kind of green hue to it, and that's what it reminds me of. So there you go. All right, get her out of the packaging here. There it is. See you later. Off to the side. And they wrap these accessories in so tight in the package. It, I don't know. It drives me a little crazy. They're a little hard to get out without scissors or a razor blade. But I'll get there, you know, it's the little things, the first world problems, as they say. There it is. Come on, let's get these accessories out of here. Let's do it. There it is. All right. See you later. Now we're ready to get down to business. Almost. I guess we got we got the old dental floss going on. We've seen dental floss. That's usually a Star Wars thing, but we can see it in Origins from time to time. All right, let's look at this figure first. So now, looking at this, straighten it all up here, it is Tila, and it's the newer version of Tila. As a lot of you guys probably know, uh, the later editions of Tila and Evelyn had regular knees, where I might as well pull this out right now. This one has kind of a flat, weird knees in the first pressing, so they have that fix there. Besides that, it's a straight repaint of their traditional Tila figure. Uh, all the way down to the snake kind of headdress going down there, it's the exact same. Accessories are the exact same. It's got that cool cobra... Uh, staff going on the shield so it's just direct re-release i think i've told the story before but you guys all seen gi joe the movie back in the day when serpentor threw his snake staff at duke when i was a kid i was using my tila one of these in my gi joe playing and i used this as that that uh, got thrown into duke so i always love this always have fondness for this from my gi joe playing days which is funny but same accessories going on there same body same everything it's just painted a different color uh, even the head, everything else. So it really is a re-release. And once again, it is a very deep cut re-release. Uh, I guess it depends where you sit. And I think the average Joe out there, not G.I. Joe, but the average Joe does not know the Attorney and Goddess. I mean, I find it to be a very deep cut, even for me, really. Uh, it's, it's you know, sometimes it's Tila in some universes. Sometimes it's not, I guess. Uh, it's always kind of confused me a little bit. Uh, it is what it is. I hope this is a sign that this Origins line is going to continue years and years because really this feels like something that should be way down the line, not quite right now. So I'm hoping that tells us, oh, they got a long history, they got a long plans going here. And it kind of sounds that way, but I guess we'll see. You never know in the toy business. Sometimes things feel like they're going strong and they just disappear, kind of like the Masters of WWE Universe. That is uh, done here very shortly with the next two sets if they ever hit retail mass release retail. I hope Origins doesn't have that fate, and I don't think it will. I don't think it will quite yet. I think that story has more chapters still to be written. But the Saturnian Goddess, outside of the knees, because this is based on the newer version, it's the same figure, just painted in that kind of uh, scope green, I guess we'll call it. Uh, so I don't know. It depends where you feel about that one. For me, I'm a completist. I have to have it, but I could see a lot of people passing on this because they don't have an attachment to the character. It's such a deep cut, and it really just is teal a different color. So I could see people passing on this one. But you guys tell me in the comments your thoughts, uh, but very, very similar figure if you had the Tila in the past. So there's Tila. There's the Eternian and Goddess. Now we got to turn our attention to Stinkor. All right, now we turn our attention to Stinkor. Ah, oh, the skunk. Gotta love a good skunk. And uh, Stinkor is one back in my childhood days I never had. I know some of my friends had it out there, and he was known to smell like, you know, a hippie or an old used record CD store. He had the patchouli oil going. He was like he was at a fish concert or something like that. I don't know. But uh, I never owned this in the past, uh, and I own it now. So we'll see. I'm not sure if this one's going to smell. I think uh, I saw from Mattel or somebody say it does not smell. But guess what? Old Kyle, he's been in a lot of fights, a lot of fist fights in his life. Yes, I love a good fight, especially in my younger days. And I got my nose busted quite a lot of times, and I really can't smell. Every once in a blue moon I can smell, but I, I really can't. So, uh, for good or for bad, I guess. I don't know, but uh, I can't smell, so it'll be interesting to see if I can smell this, if there is a smell to it. But my guess is there's really not a smell, and that's what kind of I've read online. But we'll see, we'll see. But let's take a look at the packaging first before we get into it. Masters Universe Origins right there. You got old Stinkor. You got the old Retro Play. 
talked about it. I love the card back on this one. New for 21, of course. Stinkor back in the day, kind of a re-release of Merman a little bit. Origins, Vintage Wave, all of them. A lot of part swapping, getting the most out of your molds. I think uh, Masters Universe, they really uh, wrote the book on getting the most out of your molds out there. On the back, look at that cool artwork up there up top. That is awesome. You got Stinkor with that green. It's just implying that he stinks. That, that's kind of funny there. You got Moss Man there. That is the cool one, though. Moss Man I did have as a kid. I loved that Moss Man figure. One of my all-time favorite Master Universe characters. I was happy to get him in Series 1 of Revelations. Unfortunately, you know, he died. Spoiler alert. But uh, I'm hoping we get a Moss Man. I have to think that's coming to the Origins line very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that one. I would I would think in 2022. That's my guess. Uh, but you got that one going on there. And then you got the cross cell down below. I love that picture of that girl there. She just says, oh, man, this stinks. Oh, oof. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if that's just kind of tongue-in-cheek. But we'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. Maybe. Maybe I'll get old Emma down here. I'll say, Emma, come down here. I need you to smell something. We'll see what she is. She's got a good sniffer on her. Uh, we got UPC's warnings, all that kind of stuff going on. On the back, let's see what it says about Stinkor. The sickening foul stench of Stinkor can bring even the mightiest of Eternia's heroes to their knees. So there you go. It says smell for the odor attack. I just, I, yeah, it's funny. And then, of course, we can twist him into powerful battle positions. Oh, of course. Of course we can. We must. All right, Stinkor, get out of the package here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See you later. And we're attached to the comic. There it is. See you later. There it goes. Got those instructions. It's interesting they put these instructions. There's not really a lot to talk about. It says, here's the removable part. You got the boots, the arms, uh, the legs. Yeah, it is what it is. Nothing, nothing really earth-shattering in those. See you later. Now we got the same exact comic book. As you guys know, the comics all are the same for the wave. So we've already kind of looked at that. Then we get Stinkor in the old plastic prison. Looking only like he can look in that plastic prison. He does come with accessories. He is uh, rubber banded in. Rubber banded, is that a word? He is now. I'll pull him out. Sticky. All right, get that there. See you later. Twist ties. Twist ties. All right, let's 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 do the smell test, huh? Let's see. Ugh. Ugh. Nah, just kidding. I don't smell anything. Actually, <coughs> he's got a little bit of a smell, I think. And it could just be my mind playing tricks on me. I don't know. It's almost like a like a lemon smell. I don't know. Let, let me smell her. It could just be plastic. I don't know. I'm not going to say there's a smell to it, but there could be a smell to it. I mean, it's got a little bit of something going on, but I'm not sure if it's the plastic. So I, I don't know. It's too too good to tell. I don't know. But we got a lot of reuse here, but I do like the looks of this. The black and white, as you guys know from other reviews on the channel, I love black and white. But it is a very difficult color base to make the line straight and not have overspray and stuff. And this one actually looks very good. I don't see any overspray, any smudges or anything. I got one little dot of white. But I can live with that. Uh, very cool with the black and white colors. Then the yellow eyes on this one. The red arms, or red hands, and I guess forearms. And then the orange boots. Just a cool color dynamic. And then, of course, he has his orange kind of body. And I believe, didn't Mecha Neck have the original kind of body? Didn't they share that? I, I think that's right. As far as the, like, chest protector thing going on. And then we got the traditional, you know, groin piece and all that. And you got a little bit of merman reuse going on. But it, it just looks and feels like a totally new character. Even though you're getting reused, getting the most out of your molds, as we always say. Uh, it is very cool. It, oh, gosh. This plastic is very tightly wrapped on these. I guess it's a good thing, I guess. Uh, but he does come with his shield. And I don't think we've seen this shield yet in the line. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right on that. So we got this shield, the blue shield, to add a different bit of color pattern to this one. Just a very cool figure. And actually, probably one of my strongest uh, ones we've opened in the last few series. I think this Stinkor is pretty cool. He looks cool. It's always fun to get more villains to kind of build out all that villain base. There's a lot more villains to come that they could come with, and I hope they do. But I really do like the looks of this one. I think it is very cool. His uh, chest protector and all that is, of course, removable. Uh, that's the cool thing about the Masters of the Universe figures. You know, all that stuff is removable at the end of the day. Uh, for all kids that want to mix and match and play and customize and do things like that, 
you can do that. So you can pop that off and just have a skunk. He's just a skunk on the loose. Watch out. Watch out. Nothing worse than getting sprayed by a skunk. It's never happened to me. I've run over a skunk before. That's not fun. But if you've ever been sprayed by a skunk, I don't know if I've ever known. I think my dad might have got sprayed by a skunk once when he was a kid or something. Uh, don't they put, like, baby in tomato juice or something along those lines? I don't know. I've never been sprayed. But if you've been sprayed by a skunk, chime in. Tell us what you did and how long did you smell for. Mm -hmm. But maybe he'll smell a little better. I don't know, there is a smell to it, but it's not a bad smell. It's not even an overpowering smell of anything. It's just a smell. So it is what it is. But uh, it's not quite like getting sprayed by a real skunk, I don't think. That's that's my hot take. That's my hot take and my hot guess for the day. But I like this one. Uh, I don't know if I would say I like this more than I thought I would. I Going in, I figured I would like this a lot, and I do. And I think this is one of the best ones we've had in a while. Uh, the Eternian Goddess really could have took it or leave it. I mean, obviously I'm going to take it because it's released. I'm a completist. I'm going to pick it up. But I would have rather seen Moss Man or a lot of other characters, Mechanek and those guys, before we got to the Eternian Goddess. But it is what it is. And as you can see, they all fit on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. I say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. These ringside collectible stands work great with the Origins figures. Uh, so I do recommend those. But you guys tell me your thoughts on these three, I guess. I do have the Masters Universe Classics. I almost forgot about him. Uh, now, this is a cool one. You guys know my love for the Classics line, but it's just cool to kind of compare these two uh, and just have them there. Definitely, you can tell they're the same character, so very, very cool. But tell me your thoughts on these guys. Let me know your thoughts and what you think of them. Are you passing? Are you going to pick them up when you see them? Are you going to go to Big Bad Toy Store and pick them up? I'd recommend it. They should be in stock, so get them while you can. The holidays are coming soon. You guys know how that works. Uh, follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel and also support the channel by subscribing and hitting the like button, all that kind of fun stuff out there. So there it is for Masters of the Universe Stinkor and the Eternian Goddess. I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.